Hey, this is Josh for Retool.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few tips for markers in the new Premiere Pro CC. So there are a few new features with markers in Premiere Pro CC, and these aren't actually widely documented, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So there are a few new actions that you could perform on markers, and I want to show you how they work. First of all, in CS6, if you hit M, it will add a marker, and that is no different in CC. But the cool new thing is if I'm on a marker and I hit M again, it will bring up the marker edit window. So for those users coming from Final Cut 7, this will be very familiar. And of course, if you want to just quickly create a marker and edit it right away, you could just hit MM when making that marker to get you right into the marker editor panel. So of course, you can name your marker. Let's just do marker 1 and do a comment and say, good take and I'll hit OK. Now, anyone coming from Final Cut will be a little confused as to not being able to see your marker name in the timeline. So if I hover over it, you can actually see the marker name and the comment, but I still can't actually really see it unless I'm actually over that marker. So one way where you can actually see your marker is by giving it duration. So traditionally, the way you would do that is go into the marker editing panel here, and give your marker a duration. So I'll just add a duration and hit OK. And now you can start to see my comment, which is good take. If I make it a little longer, you'll get to see the whole text. Now I could also do that in the markers window. I can control the in and out of the marker there. But there's another way that I could add a duration to a marker in CC. So I'm going to undo that until the marker no longer has a duration. The cool new thing that I can do is actually option click on the marker. And you'll notice that splits the marker. So now I can actually just drag it freely and snap it to my clip length so I know that this is the portion of the clip that is a good take. What about clip markers? Clip markers are very hidden in Premiere. So if I go to the marker menu, there's no add clip marker, there's add marker, but I don't see anything about clip markers. So how can I do it? Well, it's rather unintuitive, but what I'm going to do is go to the Premiere Pro menu and go to keyboard shortcuts. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search and I'm going to search for clip. And I can find under the timeline panel a shortcut for add clip marker. So adding a marker as M, I'm going to make add clip marker control M and I'll hit OK. So now I could come down and I could select my clip and I could hit control M but I don't see any kind of clip marker. And that's because by default, clip markers may not be enabled in your timeline display settings. So if you click on the wrench right here and hit show clip markers, I'll now see my marker. So another new feature we have in Premiere CC is the ability to not only snap to clip markers, but to actually use the marker commands like Shift M to go to the next marker or Command Shift M to go to the previous marker and use that on clips, whereas CS6 wouldn't do that on clip markers, only timeline markers. But if I want to split this marker, I can option click on it right here in the timeline to split it. So if I hit F to do a match frame, that'll bring my clip up into the source monitor. And once I'm up there, I can option click and split my marker and drag it out just like I could in the timeline. And of course, I could go into the marker editor or come into the markers panel here and type in a description. So I'll say elephant, as if that wasn't obvious. And now I can see the word elephant in my clip marker. So those are some of the new features of markers in Premiere CC. And I hope this helped you guys to discover these features that aren't all that discoverable. And while you guys are first checking out the new Premiere CC, be sure to check out our new product, Color Retooled, which is a set of looks presets for Premiere Pro CC. A ton of easy presets that you can use in Premiere and Speedgrade CC to quickly edit the look of your clips. Everything from brightness and contrast to vintage effects to things like vignettes that editors can quickly add to their clips and keep working. I hope you guys enjoy Color Retooled and I hope you guys enjoy these new tips on markers in Premiere Pro CC.